Hi everyone, I'm Diwa from Python Python and in today's video we are going to do a review of the Elite Tour Indoor Trainer. Now not only an indoor trainer but this is a smart wheel on indoor trainer. As you know I've gotten this Elite Tour for a, about a month ago and uh, for the past month I have used it for about 15 hours of training on this. I've tried it on Zwift and other types of training. So today I'm going to give you an in-depth review of this Elite Tool. Now price is 699 Singapore dollars. The Elite Tool, well at the first look is that it looks beautiful. The design is very modern and it merges seamlessly into your home furnishings if you have those modern furnishings this thing will go in and make your home look even nicer it doesn't look anything like a traditional wheel on trainer uh, the roller unit is very tacky it's very beautiful tacky square look like a toaster that's what some people call it the elite toast well but it works as well as it looks now these beach roof stands not only do they look very beautiful but they also work very well in reducing the vibration and as well making the whole setup more firm and sturdy. Yeah, I can say that Elite Tool is a very modern looking wheel on trainer that is compact, lightweight and easy to set up except for if for the first time that you may struggle a little bit. Uh, in fact, you, you may struggle uh, this bit. I will show you why later but uh, after you have got it all calibrated the, it's very simple to keep it and store it and bring it out again to use it. Right here is the key specification of the Elite Tool. It is an interactive wheel on trainer and the connectivity is N+, FEC, power speed cadence and Bluetooth. The maximum slope simulation is 10%. The maximum power is 1300 watts. It is also compatible with smartphone, tablets, bike computers, and sport watches for both Windows and Mac. You can use it with third-party training apps and virtual riding apps such as Swift, Trainer Road, Kinomap, and more. It is suitable for road bike, gravel bike, mountain bike, as well as city bikes. The Elite Tour is powered by a power plug and the total weight is 10.3 kg. As we have mentioned, the setting up of the Elite Tour may not be as uh, straightforward as you think and um, during my setting up of this unit uh, I struggled a bit and this is the part that I think that most of you would struggle as well like me. Uh, in order to mount the toaster up onto the frame you need uh, to tilt it to a specific angle something like a 45 degree and next is to put on the bracket. The reason why this roller unit has to be angled is for this bolt to go in. The next thing is to put all the nut on. There are four of them. Now that I have my bike already mounted onto the trainer, the next tricky part is calibrating the trainer. As you turn the knob at the back clockwise, the roller unit will move forward closer to the wheel so you turn it until the roller unit is just touching the tire and once you're done turn the knob the long arm of the knob 180 degree the roller unit will now be locked once you have done this step and according to the manual it is now of the ideal pressure from the roller to the tire so first you have to download the my e training which is the app for this elite trainer remember to switch on your bluetooth on the mobile device and the auto configuration to elite tool should be straightforward to complete the calibration go to setting and select trainer calibration the app will prompt you to write on your trainer for at least 10 minutes to ensure a proper calibration so once you have pedal diligently for 10 minutes you may proceed and the app will prompt you to ride till you hit a target speed. When you hit the target speed, stop pedaling and let the wheel come to a complete stop. And you will head down with the configuration. Now, if I unlock the knob, you can see that the gap has widened. So what I should do is to turn the knob clockwise again to close the gap. 
Turn until the roller unit just touch the wheel. Okay. So and knock the knob again. And I'm done. So after you have done this, the calibration is done. And for subsequent usage, all you need to do is just unlock it and lock it. You don't have to do the calibration again and again. So what are the things that I like about the Elite 12? The number one, the very first thing that I like about the Elite 12 is it being an interactive smart trainer. Now the whole point of being smart is that you can enjoy your virtual riding much much more so what it can do is that it can auto adjust the resistance according to the indoor riding rep and in real time so if you are riding on Zwift and you experience a 3% gradient the Elite 12 will adjust the resistance to simulate that 3% gradient so it makes the whole ride very fun and very real the second thing I like about the Elite 12 is no slippage okay the key the thing about wheel on trainers the main concern and worry is that uh, we may be afraid that we experience slippage when you're riding hard. But I've tried it, I've tried on my maximum effort and I tried on hard effort, but I did not experience any slippage throughout my whole 15 hours of riding. So that is what I am very impressed with it. And it is achieved by the elastogel on this roller itself which is a very good technology in my opinion and not only that it doesn't create a slippage at the same time after one hour of harsh riding as harsh as I can even though I'm not a very strong rider but after one hour of riding on, on this trainer and I go and touch my tires they don't feel hot at all that's just a sign to tell us how good the quality of this roller is with this elasto gel it also reduced the tire wear by 20 percent as compared to general wheel on trainers so what else do i like about the elite tool now it being a wheel on trainer definitely it is very easy to mount and dismount so i don't need to take out my wheel all i need to do is push my wheel in put them nicely onto these skewers and press the knob and lock it once I lock it and I will lock the roller on the back as well and it's ready to roll on your Swift app or whatever training app that you're on now this is a very good thing for people who only have one bike I'm always alternating between indoor ride and outdoor ride so it makes the mounting and dismounting very simple and I don't have to always uh, detach the wheel like I have to do on a direct drive indoor trainer and for those people who are facing space constraints you do not have the luxury of space at your home and you have to always keep the trainer after use you cannot afford to set it up permanently then this will become a very very key consideration for you lastly I am very happy with the connectivity of the elite tool i have tried connecting it on various devices i've used it on my iphone on my ipad on my apple tv and even on my brighton uh, bicycle computer and it always worked very well the connection was seamless and there was no lag at all so that is what i'm very pleased with while there are so many things to love about the elite tool uh, I must say, to be frank, there are also a few points that I really, really dislike. And top of the list is setting up this Elite Tool for the first time. Now, nowadays, most of the equipments, most of the products that you buy, you don't really have to refer to any manual whatsoever. But for the Elite Tool, I struggled to understand how to set it up so I have to refer to the user manual which did not help at all it actually complicate the whole process of setting it up uh, it, it's got some picture illustrations but it is to be honest it's not easy to understand it is not very user friendly at all so once reading this I, I still couldn't figure it out and I had to go online and search for alternative help i hope elite can do something about this because this thing is so it's really so beautiful but this is the only thing that really
spoil the whole experience. Next is the noise while riding. Well, um, well to be fair, it is not Elite Tour's problem, but it is the Wheel On Trainer as a whole. It's the downside of Wheel On Trainer. I've been using a direct drive trainer, the Magin T100, for the past one year or so, and I'm pretty used to that noise level. So once I switch to a Wheel On Trainer, like the Elite Tour, I find that the sound is much more significant than a direct drive trainer. But after comparing it to other wheel on trainers, I find that it is actually very acceptable. Another issue about the Elite 12 is the accuracy of its power. So it's got a plus minus 5% error to the power output. So if you are a cyclist who are doing very serious training and going very high power, then this 5% error could be a big issue for you. And you know, there are other wheel on trainers on the market that are having smaller percentage of errors. But for leisure cyclists like us, then it may be this error is may not be that significant of an issue. Lastly, I find that the price of this Elite Tour is slightly on the steep side. I mean, for a smart wheel on trainer, we can actually find products ranging from four to five hundred dollars in the market well but if we were to really compare apple with apple then um, a good benchmark or a good comparison would be the wahoo kicker snap which is about forty dollar fifty dollar cheaper so it's about the same price range given the comparable specifications and performance but i still find it a little bit pricey but well uh, maybe it's just me Lastly, I have no idea why, but the Elite 12 for some reason does not provide a riser block for the front wheel. So if you are planning to buy the Elite 12, you have to buy a riser block separately. So who is this Elite 12 for? I think for people who are looking for more fun and entertainment from your indoor riding experience, then you uh, a smart interactive indoor trainer is definitely the go-to option because it being smart and interactive, varying the uh, gradients as you ride, it makes the whole indoor riding experience very dynamic be it your solo ride or be it riding with your friends on the virtual app, you are now more reactive and not just riding and riding and riding and you get bored of the just riding alone. But with the interaction of with the game itself, it really becomes e-gaming rather than just training. The very first time that I tried on this smart and interactive features of a, the, the trainer, I I fell in love with it because I have to react according to the gradient that I'm facing on the virtual app itself. For example, when I face with a 7% gradient, then I have to shift the gear to lighter gear and really after about 5 or 10 seconds ride, then the, the terrain changes and the, the gradient becomes like 1% or 0% or even negative, then I have to shift my gears. Uh, to heavier gears to maintain the speed. Well, the whole the whole experience mimics the real life riding on road, and that that's why it makes the the indoor ride very realistic and very fun. Now, one final piece of advice I have for you is that um, if you are planning to use this for a long term basis, then you should really pay more attention to the noise level. So go back and hear my sound test again the noise test again and see if you can accept it in the long term and i mean if you're going to write it in the long term 
every morning and in wee hours, then not only you have to be able to withstand it, you must also ask your family members, your significant others, especially your wife, to come and listen to the sound test. If all of you are okay with it, well then this will be a very good option for you. Now before we go, uh, I must really thank Rodaling Singapore for lending this Elite Tour unit to us for this test for our testing and to make this review possible. So and if you like our content today, do give us a thumbs up so that we can do more of the trainer reviews in the future for you. Thank you very much and see you again. And if the price is within your budget, then this will be a very good option.